Ladies and gentlemen, we've probably just witnessed one of the biggest bombshells dropped in recent memory regarding NASCAR's silly season. This is arguably something that I don't think any of us expected at all. So Trackhouse Racing announced that today at 2 p.m. June 30th, 2021, they were going to have a major announcement. So speculation began. I sat there thinking maybe they're going to announce that they required a charter. For next year because again they've been trying to track down a charter uh, for the 99 team because they've been leasing one for this year and of course the whole colic thing happened and they were without a charter but no even bigger track house racing has bought all of chip ganassi's nascar cup team all of it the shop the equipment the charters both of them, by the way. So, yeah, Chip Ganassi is going to be out of NASCAR at the end of 2021, which I don't think any of us was really going to expect. Uh, Chip Ganassi has been in NASCAR uh, since 2001 when they bought into uh, Team Sapco, and they've had their share of success, of course, winning the Brickyard 400 and Daytona 500 with Jimmy McMurray and some wins with guys like um, Kyle Larson, Sterling Marlin, and as I just mentioned, Jimmy McMurray as well. Now, of course, Chip Ganassi has also stated that he is still going to be in racing. He still has his IndyCar, IMSA, Formula E teams, and he is one of the most successful race team owners in all of motorsports, which is kind of shocking to see that he's going to be out of NASCAR after, you know, 20 years of being in it. So now what does this mean? What does this mean for Trackhouse? Well, Justin Marks and Pitbull, this team has a bright future ahead now. We were discussing probably a week ago, is this team going to find a charter? Are they going to race charterless next season? And now, Daniel Suarez arguably has the most stability he's ever had in his entire racing career. Trackhouse you know came in as this new team and now they're gonna be they're gonna be up there they're gonna be a i mean they're already looking kind of solid this year and now next year they may look even better heck not only do they want to expand to a two-car operation but they actually want to move their team's corporate office to nashville tennessee and operate in the heart of the of the music city's entertainment district track house is a team that honestly nascar needs moving forward and now that they have two charters and now they have all this stability and all this money now for 2022 and beyond is just you know i my jaw dropped to the ground i was not expecting this and the thing was chip ganassi wasn't even looking to sell his team but justin marks came up to him and gave him an offer that made him consider so Chip Ganassi agreed to sell his entire NASCAR team to Justin Marks and Pitbull. So, what's next for Trackhouse Racing? Obviously, this goes into effect at the end of the season, right after the championship is settled in Phoenix. Daniel Suarez will be one of their drivers, still in the number 99. So now the question is, who drives the second car? And is it between, possibly, Kurt Busch? or Ross Chastain. You know, what's going to be the number of that card? Are they going to potentially keep the one? Are they going to renumber it? Which is going to be ironic. If they do keep the one, Ty Norris, who worked with DEI long ago, will actually pretty much have one of the remains of DEI with number with the card number one, which would be rather ironic. Bob Parker stated that as of right now, Ross Chastain is a free agent. But it could change. He could end up being the second track house driver, but there are no guarantees. And if we remember, Kurt Busch was considered as one of the top drivers to take a second car track house before all of this went down. And of course, Kurt has the Monster Energy sponsorship. It really sucks for Ross Chastain. It, this is considering if he does not get this ride for next season, he will be a free agent, which we really what we really weren't anticipating that so chastain obviously he's been riding around for a bunch of smaller teams uh going up through his career he finally got a big break in 2018 got a win with ganassi's xfinity team he was expected to run for a championship with ganassi in xfinity in 2019 then the whole dc solar thing happened and then he just pretty much ended up driving in the truck series for Nice Motorsports, got all the way to the championship four. Colleg Racing picked him up and he got some wins. And then now here he is driving in the cup series for Chip Ganassi. And Chastain's been doing well. Recently, he got the second place finish at Nashville. So I think somebody is going to pick Chastain up. I don't think that's a concern at all. But the question is where? Well, 
let's think about this. Colic Racing now has two charters. Obviously, they said Justin Haley is going to be one of their drivers, and they said AJ Allmendinger will drive a second car part-time. What if they consider the fact that maybe, just maybe, Colic Racing may bring back Ross Chastain for their cup program? That's always a possibility. And again, if that that is if. Um, they don't get Chastain and they keep Kurt Busch or maybe Trackhouse completely go somewhere else. Maybe they go with some other guy that we haven't really thought of. But obviously, you have to think about the two current drivers at Chip Ganassi Racing, the 2004 champ Kurt Busch and Ross Chastain. Of the two, you know, they probably may roll with a veteran like Kurt Busch who has all those wins and a championship under his belt and of course as i mentioned earlier the monster energy sponsorship or they may go with somebody younger maybe they do go with ross chastain but i want to hear your thoughts on this because i am still trying to gather my thoughts i am still stunned i did not see this coming i don't think any of you guys saw this coming that chip ganassi is now going to be out of nascar at the end of 2021 after being in the cup series for just about 20 years Trackhouse racing arguably just became one of the top teams of nascar with this move this is absolutely earth shattering and as i said at the start of this video probably one of the biggest jaw dropping silly season news that we have seen in recent memory so what do you guys think of this whole thing and who's going to drive a second track house car because now this team has stability this team is set and ready to go for many many years to come they have a future in this sport and you know justin marks and pitbull they are going to bring innovation to nascar and again this is a team like 2311 that nascar needs look at all these new teams coming in we got colleague we got gms we got track house expanding 2311 is looking to expand and you know maybe dale and hart jr is able to snag up a charter who knows this is absolutely insane i'm still trying to take in all this so they have it track house racing has bought all of chip ganassi's cup team all of it the cars the, the shop the charters everything and now the next question remains what is next for their two current drivers kurt bush and ross chastain uh besides that obviously we'll find out who's going to be that second driver and what happens to the other driver in this process as well as of right now chip ganassi's last win in the cup series uh has come at the 2020 las vegas fall race um, with Kurt Busch. We'll see if maybe they could pick up another one with Kurt or Ross before the season is out. Obviously, it's going to be weird not seeing Chip Ganassi in NASCAR next year, but I do wish him the best of luck. He still has his IndyCar, IMSA, and Formula E teams that are very, very successful. And with that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. So what do you guys think of this whole situation? I'm Sonic Rules 831 and I'll see you guys in the next video.